What's up guys, this is Chris from Terrestrial Imaging and in this video I'm going to show you the workflow for collecting data using the Yellowscan Mapper Plus. Alright guys, so in drone mapping there's going to be data collection out in the field and then there's going to be post processing. In this video we're going to be focusing on data collection using the Yellowscan Mapper Plus in the next video, we're going to be focusing on post-processing the data that we acquired. So let's get started. First, we're going to create an automated mission plan using UGCS. This can be done in the office or in the field. To start, I'll be setting a takeoff point to 60 meters. Then I'll create a LiDAR area mission and adjust my settings for the Mapper Plus, such as the scanner's field of view, the mission altitude, side overlap, and flight speed. Once the area is created, the grid lines will be automatically populated and can be adjusted if needed. We like to use UGCS primarily because of its built-in LiDAR calibration tools and elevation data. Once we're in the field, the first thing we'll have to do is put down our base station. The data it collects will be used in post-processing for trajectory correction, and the longer it's running, the more data we will have to make more accurate corrections. After placing the base station, we have to install the Mapper Plus on our aircraft. We start by connecting the GNSS antenna, and next we'll remove the gimbal connector cover from the drone so we can connect the scanner. We'll start by taking off the camera lens cover from the camera module on the Mapper Plus and open the scanner cover on the bottom. Once the Mapper Plus is secured to the drone, we must connect the GNSS antenna to the Mapper Plus. Now that everything is installed, we're ready to power on the aircraft. Once the aircraft is on, we turn on the Mapper Plus by holding the yellow button down for 4 seconds. Our Mapper Plus is drawing power from the aircraft's batteries. However, you also have the option to use the external batteries that come with the Mapper Plus to power it. When the Mapper Plus is powered on, you will see the indicator lights blink as the device searches for satellites and the IMU initializes. The lights will go from blinking to solid when it's ready to collect data. To board the flight, you'll have to click the yellow button one more time to start logging data. Now that everything is ready, we're going to upload our mission to the drone and take off manually. Flying with the Mapper Plus, Yellowscan recommends a fully manual takeoff and IMU calibration. The manual calibration consists of a series of forward and backwards movements with a final U-shaped movement where the front of the drone is always facing in the direction that it's moving. Now that the IMU calibration is complete, we can now perform the mission. While the drone is flying, your GNSS antenna, the scanner, the camera module, and the base station will be collecting data. Once the mission is complete, Yellowscan recommends doing one more manual calibration before landing. So when you're done flying, you'll have up to three different memory cards. If you have the camera module, you'll have one there, and now those files will be used to colorize your point cloud. The scanner will have one itself, which will have the LiDAR data, and then if you're using a base station, you'll have one there. All three of these files will be used in post-processing, but we'll get into that in another video. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. Be sure to look out for the next one, and visit us online at terrestrialimaging.com.